Welcome. I've been doing my research. Because there are so many prefectures and so many famous foods, I'm going to be breaking this video up into two parts. One for North, East, and Central prefectures of Japan, and one for West and South prefectures of Japan. Each prefecture will be given three famous foods with the exception of a few, like Hokkaido, which is really, really big and tasty. Foods from Hokkaido. Uni, Ikuradon, sea urchin and salmon roe rice bowl, this is simply a rice bowl that's one half ikura, salmon roe, and one half uni, sea urchin. They've pretty much just combined two of the best seafoods into one donbai, and that makes me hungry. Next, kaisin don, seafood rice bowl, this is also a rice bowl, but instead of just having two things it has many things. This donbai has many kinds of seafoods on top, which can include crab, shrimp, uni, ikura, salmon, tuna, and more. Number 3, Jingisukan, grilled mutton, this is a yakiniku style dish that's served on a convex metal skillet or grill. The meat used is lamb which was said to be the meat of choice for Genghis Khan, the dish is named after him, and the skillet is shaped like their helmets which they supposedly cooked their food on. Now for Ishikari Nabe, salmon and vegetable stew with miso and butter, this stew is a miso based stew that includes some Hokkaido salmon. Great to eat in the cold Hokkaido winters. Next, Nama Uni Donbe, raw sea urchin rice bowl, more rice bowls. This is just Donbe that's all uni all the way. Personally, I'd get number one because I wouldn't be able to choose which topping I'd want, but this is a close second. Finally, Chan Chan Yaki, salmon hot pot, this is known as the fisherman's hot pot. It includes salmon and vegetables and comes seasoned in a miso based sauce. Now let's move on to Amari Prefecture's famous foods. First we have Ishigoni, strawberry stew, sea urchin and abalone stew. The sea urchin and abalone are boiled in dashi and seasoned with a bit of salt and soy sauce. Sounds simple, but also sounds tasty. It gets this name not for having strawberries but for being a pinkish color, which is kind of like the color of strawberries. Next, senbei jiru, senbei soup. If you've never had senbei, you're missing out. If you've never had senbei jiru, well, you ought to try it. It's probably not like the senbei you're thinking of though. Senbei jiru tends to use fresh senbei which makes a lot more sense when you consider it's being put in a soup. Third, Uma Maguro tuna dishes, Uma is a port known for their tuna. So, this one is getting all grouped together. There are apparently various Maguro tuna dishes in Uma port that are worth trying. If you're in Uma, you'll definitely want to order the tuna. We are still in the north, next are Iwate Prefecture's famous foods. First we have Morioka Ramen, cold Korean ramen. This cold noodle ramen is similar to the North Korean dish Nimyeon, except the noodles in Japan are made from potato starch. It has a spicy cold beef broth and often includes fruit to help cut the spicy. Next, Morioka Jajaman, thick Chinese noodles with meat miso sauce. These noodles are bigger and more like udon. It's a Chinese noodle dish that is topped with cucumber, green onion, ginger, a meat miso sauce and more. Finally from Iwate is Wanko Soba, small bowl soba, this soba dish is served in small bowls. One theory is because during a festival there wasn't enough soba to go around, so it was put into smaller bowls so everyone could have a taste. Let's move on to Miyagi Prefecture's famous foods. First, we have Jayutan Yaki, roast cow tongue, this is what it sounds like. Roast cow tongue. It's usually sliced into thin pieces so it's easier to eat. It's not like you have to stick the whole cow tongue in your mouth. Next, zundamaki, soybean mochi, rice cake. This is basically mochi covered in a soybean paste. Mochi is good. Soybeans are good. Why not combine them together? Lastly, kakiyori, oyster dishes. Oyster dishes are well known in Miyagi Prefecture. So, kind of like Uma and its maguro, if you see an oyster dish in Miyagi it's probably worth a try. Next we move on to Akita Prefecture's famous foods. First, Kiritampo Nabe, Kiritampo Hot Pot, this dish is like, super well known in Akita. It's a hot pot dish served with Kiritampo, which is made from cooked rice that's mashed and then formed into cylinders. Many other ingredients are included as well, just as with most Nabe, but the Kiritampo is what makes it so well known. Next is Ananua Udon, this is a type of Udon that's real thin. Normally when you get udon, 
the noodles are thick. Last from Akita Hata Hata Zushi, known as the godfish for some reason, this fish is a bit sticky and doesn't have scales. It's one of those prefecture fishes you'll mainly find in Akita, though, which probably is why it is kind of famous here. Moving on to Yamagata Prefecture's famous foods Emo Nabe, potato stew, this is essentially a potato nabe. Next, Tamago Konyaku, ball Konyaku, this is Konyaku, nearly zero calories, in the shape of balls, cooked in various ways. Third, Dongara Jiru, Dongara soup. This soup contains grey cod cut into large chunks and includes the bones, head and innards. It also includes many other ingredients as well and is a good dish for warming you up in the winter. Next we head to Fukushima Prefecture's famous Kozuyu. This is a clear soup that contains dried scallop, vegetables, and more. Definitely has a distinct look to it. Next, Kenshin Udon. This is a lot like Kenshin soup, a soup with lots of roots and vegetables in a tasty broth. Lastly, Nishin no Sanshuzuk, pickled herring, this is pickled herring that is layered in leaves of sancho and fermented in shoyu, sake, vinegar, and sugar. That way, you can eat it year-round. Now let's go to Niigata Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Nope Jiru, Nope Soup, this soup is made from leftover vegetable parts cooked in sesame oil. This is often eaten at festivals, Buddhist ceremonies, and during the new year. Two. Sasa Dango, mugwort flavored mochi, this was a portable food back in the Warring States period. It consists of mugwort flavored mochi and red beans. To make it portable it's wrapped in bamboo leaves. 3. Hagi Soba, these soba noodles use top-notch buckwheat and are served on a special plate called a hagi. The noodles are placed on the hagi so that they can be eaten one mouthful at a time. I like it when people separate my noodles for me so they're easier to eat. No wonder these are famous. Now for Toyama Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Misazushi, trout sushi, this salted trout is placed on the rice and then lined with bamboo leaves. It can come in round and not round varieties. 2. Shiro abiyori, white shrimp dishes, Toyama is also known for its white shrimp dishes. So, if you're in Toyama, look out for things that have white shrimp in them. 3. Hot haru ikayori. Hot haru squid dishes, also popular at Toyama's hot haru squid. They're little guys and can be cooked in a variety of ways. I like anything that involves hot haru ika and sticks. Now for Ishikawa Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Kabara sushi, turnip sushi, this dish is made from salt preserved turnips and slices of amberjack, along with some other ingredients. It is cured together on malted rice. 2. Jibuni, jibu stew. Stewed duck coated in flour, seasonal veggies, and Kanazawa wheat gluten. The sound of stewing something is jibu jibu, which is where this stew got its name. 3. Kagayori, kaga dishes, this is a style of cooking that uses local seafood, wild greens, and heirloom vegetables. It's not just one type of dish, so you'll have to catch them all if you're in the Kanazawa city area, where this is popular. Now for Fukui Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Orashi soba, this is a cold soba dish that has various toppings on it, unlike zaru soba. This is a good summer meal. 2. Satoimo no karoni, sato potato stew, this simple potato dish only has a few ingredients. Sato potatoes, shoyu, sugar, and mirin. But, the simple taste is what makes this one so good. 3. Saba no heshiko, this is preserved mackerel from Fukui Prefecture. The mackerel are cleaned, salted, and then put in rice bran. These pieces of fish are lightly grilled when it's eating time. Next on our list is Gifu Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Kaikintan, mashed sweet potatoes with sweetened chestnuts, curry, chestnuts, and kintan, sweet potatoes. Mush them together and you have kaikintan. 2. Kikan, cabbage, chicken, and onions in a garlic shoyu marinade. It's often cooked on a Mongolian skillet, just like Jingisukan. 3. Hobamaso, ho tree leaf miso, these leaves have antibacterial properties, which makes them good for keeping food clean. On top, you put miso paste mixed with various other ingredients. It's then heated over a fire and you eat the stuff on top. Now for Nagano Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Shinshu soba, 2 parts wheat, 8 parts buckwheat. 
named after the old name of Nagano Prefecture. I didn't know it was known as the Trustful State. That's a good name to have when the Shogun's watching. 2. Nozawa Nazuk, Nozawana Pickles, Nozawana is a Japanese leaf vegetable. This is the pickled variant from Nagano. 3. Oyaki, this is a type of Japanese dumpling made with fermented buckwheat dough wrapped around various toppings. It's usually steamed or broiled. Now for Yamanashi Prefecture's famous foods. 1. How to, this is stewed flat udon noodles and vegetables in a soup. The thing that makes this unique is that the udon noodles are prepared in the style of dumplings rather than noodles, which is why locals don't consider this udon. 2. Yoshida no udon, Yoshida's udon, this special dish of Fuji Yoshida city includes surprisingly firm and thick udon, topped with various ingredients. Each restaurant has its own saradane, spices, which means it can vary from place to place. Try the Nikka Udon. It has horse meat. 3. Kabocha Hatu, Pumpkin Hatu, similar to number 1, this time it has Japanese pumpkin. Now on to Aichi Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Hitsumabushi, this is Aichi style unagi don, which is unagi on rice. There is a little difference. First you eat the unagi as it is. Then, you add in some seasonings. Finally, when things are breaking, add ashi, stock, to it and eat it. 2. Miso Nakomi Udon, this is a type of udon that's stewed in a miso broth with various other toppings, like cabbage, onions, carrots, negi, and so on. What a great sounding comfort food. 3. Tebasaki, deep fried chicken wings, I mean, you can't go wrong with chicken wings, especially if you fry them. Next, Shizuoka Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Sakuribi Yuri, cherry shrimp dishes. If you're in Shizuoka and you see Sakurabi on the menu, be sure to pick it up. There's many ways to prepare Sakurabi, since it's Shizuoka famous food. 2. Unagi no Kabayaki, this is unagi dipped and broiled in a soy based sauce over a grill. 3. Shizuoka Odin, this is a variety of Odin, various things like boiled eggs daikon, potatoes, etc., that are first boiled then kept in a simmering broth until eaten. Shizuoka's version of odin involves beef sinew for the broth and has a strong soy sauce. The broth is then replenished, so the items within get darker and darker and more and more delicious. Next, Gunma Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Yakimanjuu, cooked maju, this sweet flour that's been fermented in sake is formed into small dumplings then skewered. On top is a sweet and savory miso-based sauce. 2. Okirokomi, the most interesting part about this dish is the hand-cut noodles, which can get pretty wide. The broth is mirin and shoyu-based and includes vegetables, taro, and more. 3. Kamameshi, this is kettle rice which is rice that's eaten from a communal iron pot called a kama. It also includes other ingredients besides rice, and the burned rice on the bottom adds an extra wonderful taste. Next. Tochigi Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Shimotsugari, simmered vegetables, soybeans, fried fat, and seikasu. Many other additional ingredients can be added as well. 2. Gyoza, you know what gyoza slash gyozu is, right? Dumplings, in English. Safe to say, if you're anywhere the gyoza is pretty good. If you're in Tochigi, it's even better. In fact, it's famous for its gyoza. 3. Chitake soba, chitake is a certain kind of mushroom, also known as the Lactarius volumus. This is a soba dish that features said mushroom. Next, Ibaraki Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Onkunabe, monkfish stew, when fresh, the super ugly monkfish can be pretty good. This stew contains said monkfish, most notably its liver. 2. Onkuno dobujiru, monkfish, dash once again it's the monkfish. Ibaraki's all about the monkfish. This soup contains all parts of the monkfish, including skin, liver, fins, stomach and more. Don't waste your monkfish. 3. Kenshinjiru, Kenshin Soup. Kenshinjiru is a soup that was first made at Kencho Temple, where it got its name. A monk dropped a block of tofu and it broke into many pieces. He put it in the soup anyways, and Kenshinjiru was born. The cool thing about this soup is the distribution of the tofu. Since it's a bunch of little pieces, it's so even. Next, Saitama Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Hiyajiru Udon, 
Cold Soup Udon This is a cold soup to don from Saitama. It has sesame seeds, cucumbers, and other awesome things. 2. Igamanjuu The rice is cooked with azuki beans and put around a steamed bun with sweet bean jam. Tasty and sweet. 3. Nibatu This is pretty much the same as Okirakomi but Saitamaified, I guess. Mmm, Saitama. Moving on down the list to Chiba Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Namaru. This is a fisherman's dish consisting of horse mackerel, sardines, flying fish, and Pacific sori. It's cut into small bits and is added to miso, ginger, leeks, and green basil. 2. You'd like to say, steamed peanuts, this area is good for cultivating peanuts, so Chiba and Fuji City have become well known for peanuts. Apparently these are the only peanuts that go well with alcohol in all of Japan. 3. Azino Tataki, minced horse mackerel. This is horse mackerel that has been chopped up and placed with something fresh and tasty. Now for the famous area of Tokyo Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Mojiyaki yaki, similar to okonomiyaki, mojiyaki is a pan-fried batter with various ingredients in it. The difference is mojiyaki has more liquid and therefore more runny. It's then eaten directly off the grill with a spatula. 2. Fukagawa don, Fukagawa rice bowl. Short neck clams and hard clams are deep fried and mixed with onions and miso are put on rice. Back in the day these kinds of clams were very plentiful and this dish was popular in Fukagawa. 3. Kusaya, this is a drinking snack consisting of salted and dried fish. It's super smelly but has a pretty mild taste. Now for Kanagawa Prefecture's famous foods. 11. Kegun Care, Navy Curry, back in the day Yokosuka had quite the Navy base. During this time, a type of local curry used with the navy popped up. Strangely, this kind of curry is actually what's considered normal curry in Japan now. 2. Namashirasu don, raw white bait rice bowl, white bait is a term for tiny fish, usually baby anchovy or sardines. In this dish, instead of frying or cooking the white bait fish, you can get it raw. I bet the texture is pretty awesome. 3. Sanmaman. This is a Yokohama-style ramen that's served in a shoyu broth and covered in stir-fried vegetables. Now for Mie Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Isudon, concentrated soy sauce and sweet cooking sake are used to make a broth that goes over thick udon noodles. 2. Tekonazushi, supposedly taught to a fisherman by Kobo Daishi. Bonito and sushi rice go together to create this concoctions. 3. Isebiuri, eyes lobster food. If you run into ebi in eyes, it's probably good. Now for Shiga Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Funazushi, buna, crucian carp, is packed in salt for a year and then dried and mixed with rice. This mixture's then fermented another three years. Mmm. 2. Kamonabe, duck hot pot, this is what it sounds like. Duck in a hot pot with other ingredients. It's the duck that makes it good. 3. Iuno Sukudani. This is baby sweet fish cooked in sweet soy sauce. Goes well with alcohol. Now for Kyoto Prefecture's famous foods. Number 1. Kaiseki Yori, traditional multi-course dinner. This isn't necessarily just one dish, but many. In fact, that's what this is type of food is all about. It's the traditional Japanese multi-course dinner, which comes with multiple courses, duh. 2. Kyosu Kemono, Kyoto Pickles. These are pickles made in Kyoto. They're known for their simplicity and come in other varieties. 3. Abanzai, sea vegetables, eggplants, herring, codfish, salted mackerel, tofu, and boiled daikon. Next for Osaka Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Okonomiyaki. This is a kind of savory pancake with various ingredients, like shredded cabbage, pork belly, octopus, squid, shrimp, other vegetables and other things. 2. Takayaki. These round-shaped nom-noms are made with a wheat flour-based batter and filled with other delicious things, most notably the taco, octopus, but also ginger, green onion, and more. 3. Kitsune udon, fox udon. This is udon topped with a burridge. Now for Kyogo famous foods. 1. Akashiyaki, small round dumpling from the city of Akashi. The batter is made from egg and octopus and is dipped into a dashi before eating. 2. Kobe beef, this shouldn't need any explanation as it's famous worldwide. 
massage those cows and feed them beer. 3. I can go no cookini, I can go ah small fish. Then, they're taken and cooked in soy sauce, ginger, mirin, and sugar to turn it into this dish. Eat it with rice and alcohol, it'll be good. Next, Nara Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Kakino ha sushi, this is a pressed sushi using slices of mackerel. They're wrapped in persimmon leaves because of their antibacterial properties. 2. Miwa somen, this is just somen, but it's from Miwa which is particularly famous for making somen, so, that means it's pretty good. 3. Yamato no shagayu, this is a kind of rice gruel that is apparently very Japanese, or very old. Not sure which. Probably old, considering it's Nara Prefecture. Next, Wakayama Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Kujira no Tatsuta age, deep fried whale, this is battered and deep fried whale meat. So, if eating whale makes you queasy you'll want to avoid this one. 2. Meirai Zushi, a rice ball covered with a pickled takana leaf, mustard leaf. The pickled taste and the onigiri, rice ball, go nicely together. 3. Kunabe, this is an abe made from the long tooth grouper, Q. It includes other nabe-ish ingredients too. Next, Totori Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Matsubegani Yuri, the Matsubegani is the snow crab. It has super long arms and is super tasty. If you're in Totori you'll want to try Matsubegani no matter how it's prepared. 2. Kanawu, crab soup, more crab. This time in a soup. 3. Oyama Okawa, this rice is soaked for a night and then cooked with various tasty things. Next, Shimane Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Izumo Soba, this is Izumo style soba. The interesting part about this soba is that the grains are ground with the husks still on making the taste different, and probably making it better for you. Another thing that makes it different is you pour the sauce on the soba instead of dipping the soba in the sauce. 2. Shijimi Jiru, Shimiji clams in broth, seasoned with soy sauce, miso. 3. Temeshi, Thai, the dumbest fish in the sea, or restaurant. Shimane is known for its Thai rice dish where the Thai is put together with the rice. Looks just about perfect. Next, Okayama Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Okayama Baraoshi, rich, fresh seafood and vegetables on top of sushi rice. Looks pretty. 2. Hirozen Okawa, steamed rice with red beans. Supposedly this dish came about when someone accidentally mixed the red beans with the rice thinking it was something else. What a nice mistake. 3. Momokari Zushi, the Momokari is of the Sardinella family and in this case is made into sushi. Though, Okayama is somewhat known for its non-sushi Momokari sushi dishes too. Next, Hiroshima Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Hiroshima Okonomiyaki, the difference with Hiroshima's Okonomiyaki is that instead of mixing the ingredients you layer them, making things a bit taller, especially considering you use three to four times the amount of cabbage. 2. Kakiyuri, oyster cooking, if you're in Hiroshima, get something with oysters. It'll probably be good. 3. Anago Meshiden, eel rice bowl, conger eel on top of rice. Next, Yamaguchi Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Fuguyuri, blowfish cooking, feel like putting your life on the line? Have some blowfish. It's well known in Yamaguchi, so if you are going to do it anywhere might as well be here. Two. Fugu sashi, fugu slices, this is just thinly cut sashimi. Probably my favorite way to have fugu. 3. Shou yuri, ice gobi cooking, the ice gobi is a tiny little fish. Yamaguchi prefecture is known for cooking them well. Now off to Shikoku, Takashima. 1. Sabegom zoji, this is buckwheat grain that has been made into a thick porridge. Since rice isn't suitable to grow in this region buckwheat is pretty big. This porridge is served with various toppings and ingredients. 2. Tarayu don, this is udon that's placed into a wooden basin filled with hot water. Take the udon out and dip it into the dipping sauce, kind of like you do with soba, but this is udon. 3. Ia soba, Ia is a district of Tokushima, and here they make soba that's put in soup broth of Iroko along with other ingredients on top. Now off to Kagawa. 1. Sanuki udon. Sanuki is what Kagawa Prefecture used to be named, so this is basically Kagawa Udon. 
With Sanuki udon, you usually have udon noodles served al dente with a broth of tuna plus kelp. 2. Shippoku udon, this is udon prepared with lots of vegetables, often served in winter. The vegetables are boiled first then put on the noodles as toppings. Sounds very healthy. 3. Iroko meshi, this is sardine put on top of and cooked with rice. Sounds like a match made in heaven. Now off to ahime. 1. Uwajima Thai Meshi, this is a rice dish made with Thai that's served in the Uwajima district of Ahime. If you're a new Uwajima be sure to look out for this one. 2. Jakotan, this cake is made from small fish that are blended into a paste and then fried. Basically, this is a fish cake made from Hotarujiko, a small white fish, though it's hard to notice that when they're blended into a cake. 3. Satsuma Jiru, this is a miso flavored pork and vegetable stew, soup. Now off to Kachi. 1. Katsuo no Tataki, this is seared bonito that has been sliced. Apparently it's good raw, but very good seared. It's eaten with grated ginger, and other things as well, depending on your location. 2. Sorachi Yuri, traditionally this consisted of sashimi and sushi, but recently other types of food have been included as well. Basically, this is a bunch of food served on a huge plate. 3. Katsuo no Tose Zukuri, this is another version of number 1, Katsuo no Tataki. They're both pretty similar, possibly the same, but you should eat both anyways. Next we head to Kyushu, first is Fukuoka. 1. Mantaiko, this marinated row of pollock. This originally came from Korea, though apparently the Japanese version is a little different. It actually was nominated as Japan's number one side dish in the Shukan Bushan back in the day. 2. Motsu Nabe, this nabe dish is made from beef or pork offal, which is usually beef intestines. 3. Tori no Mizutaki, this is another nabe dish, this time vegetables and chicken. Next we go to Saga. 1. Yobiko no Ikayuri, Yobiko Squid Cooking, Yobiko is a town in Saga Prefecture. They apparently make good squid. Eat said squid and enjoy. 2. Matsuguru no Kabayaki, Charcoal Mudskipper. This is what it sounds like, Charcoal Mudskipper. What's a mudskipper, you ask? Well, that's a wetlands fish that is amphibious and can walk on land using its fins. No wonder they eat these. It'd be terrifying if their population got out of control. 3. Dagajiru. This is a soup that has noodles, chicken, and many kinds of vegetables in it. A good, healthy energy boosting dish, especially in winter. Next off to Nagasaki. 1. Seru udon, shonpon, literally plate udon. This is when you put a base of noodles on a plate, then cover them with cabbage, bean sprouts, other vegetables, squid, prawns, pork, and other things. If you use thicker noodles, it's called shonpon, but they're very similar besides that. 2. Shippoku yori. This is a type of cooking that comes from traditional formal banquets in ancient China. Circular tables are arranged with Japanese and Chinese delicacies, as well as foods introduced by European traders. Remember, Nagasaki was the only contact Japan had with the outside world for a long time, so it has lots of international influence. 3. Sasebo Burger This is a handmade burger from Sasebo. This recipe came from the American Navy and was handed down to Japan where it eventually became famous. Apparently these burgers are very good though I have yet to try one. Next, Kumamoto, 1. Basashi, sliced horse. Yes, you can eat horse sashimi in Japan. 2. Ikenari dango, steamed bun with chunks of sweet potato in the dough. Inside is anko, red bean paste. 3. Karashankon, mustard lotus root. Kaashi is a type of spicy mustard. Rincon is lotus root. Put them together and you have Kaurashinkon. Make sure you slice it up before eating it. Don't eat it like a hot dog. Oita Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Bori no Atsumeshi, slices of raw yellowtail that have been marinated in a soy sauce, sugar, vinegar, sake mixture are served over hot rice. Also included are things like green onion, nori, and sesame seeds. 2. Gomadashi Udon, this is fish that is grilled the crushed and mixed with soy sauce and sesame seeds. It's then put over Udon. 3. Tenob Dango Jiru, these are hand-stretched dumpling noodles served in a savory soup. Now for Miyazaki Prefecture's famous foods.
1. Miyazaki no Sumabiyaki, this is chicken meat that's cut up and grilled over charcoal until black. The charred taste is what makes this one good. It also probably gives you stomach cancer. 2. Hiyajiru, small fish are grilled and crushed then blended with sesame seeds and miso. It's then put in a soup with cucumber. 3. Chicken Nanban, this is a Kyushu-style fried chicken that's been briefly marinated in a sweet sour salty spicy sauce called Nanban sauce, thus the Nanban. Next, Kagoshima Prefecture's famous foods. 1. Tori Meshi, this is chicken rice with various things on top of it. 2. Kibaneko Yuri, this is a small silver fish that off of Kagoshima. There are many ways to eat it, but the most common looks to be a sashimi along with a miso dip. Other ways include grilled, simmered, deep fried, and in soups. 3. Tonkotsu Yuri, tonkotsu is pork that is cooked very slowly so it can be soft. It's pretty much delicious, last and definitely not least is Okinawa. 1. Soki Soba, this is a soba that is served with stewed pork spare ribs with the cartilage attached. 2. Goyachan Puru, this consists of tofu combined with vegetables, meat, or fish, and sometimes spam. Bitter melon seems to be a very common vegetable here. 3. Rafu tea, pork belly that's tender, succulent, and a lot like bacon. But better. It's seasoned with a ginger broth, awimori, and water. Thank you for watching our complete list of foods from all over Japan.